Hello, welcome to episode 336. We're going to be using an inline predicate to check light levels. Now, this predicate will work in the command block inline, or it'll work if you put it into a predicate file in your data pack. We get them both from the same source, misodes generator. Uh, let's turn it on. And this currently is just checking, ignore the spaces, I'll explain them later, is the light level 14 or less. Well, under here it is, so it is going to play that message. It's that simple. Okay, pretty cool. Nice and quick, nice and easy. It's going to be a very short tutorial today. Anyway, see, even when it's a short tutorial, I can waffle. Let's stop, let's get on and build it now. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the predicate. And I thought this time we'd actually use Misode's predicate maker. There'll be a link in the description. So we're going to be making a predicate to check the light level and add a block. So we don't want to be checking entity properties up the top here. We want to change this to a location check. We're going to check a location. I'm not going to put any offsets or anything. I'm going to be running this at the player. So that will be our location. Um, we've got lots of things. We can check biome structures, dimension. Are we standing above a few blocks above a campfire? Blocks, fluids. I just want to check light. So let's do light. Now we can have an exact figure. So let's say we put 13 in there, it has to be exactly 13, not lower, not higher. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Or what else have we got? We've got a range. Okay, so since it's daytime in my map, it's going to be pretty bright everywhere. So I'm going to say max is 14. Uh, we can press enter. And now you can see it's changed it over here. It's building our little predicate for us. Okay, uh, should we have a minimum? Yeah, let's put the minimum at um, 12. There we go. So if it's 12 or 14, let's press enter just so it updates our predicate on the right. Okay, there we go. We've made ourselves a little predicate. Um, and I'm going to copy that. Oh, I've clicked on it. It's just highlighted it all for me. That's handy. But let's copy it all. And I'll just press Control C. Okay, now let's uh, head over into Minecraft. Okay, so we've got our predicate from Misode's generator. Let's put it into a command block and I've got some space here. So we've got light level 15 because I'm out in the open. Let's press F3. We can see here in the middle on the left hand side, client light 15, 15 sky. Okay, and if I go under there, we go 14, 13 and on the red will probably be 12. Yep, cool. Okay, so we know the light levels 15, 14, 13, 12. Let's put down a little block and we'll just label it something. We're only going to have one command block, so it doesn't matter really. And we'll make it repeating. Okay, so I'm going to execute as every player at that player if predicate, the predicate that I just made, so I'm literally just going to paste it in. There we go. It's got lots of spaces in it, but Minecraft doesn't care. It'll just ignore those spaces. I would go through and tidy that up, which you can do if you want. You can go through and just take out all the spaces. I'm not going to do it now because it just takes extra time. Okay, run, say, dark. Okay, done. So we've got 12 to 14. So wherever we go under here, we should get that message. And we do indeed. Okay, uh, let's change it. Let's just say 13 to 14. So the center, we should be fine. So if we make our way to the center and stand here, let's clear the chat. There we go, we're in 12, so we're not within the range. Cool, okay, let's go back out. If we just want to check if it's lower than four or 14 or lower, we can just remove the minimum. So let's just get rid of the minimum. So now anywhere in here is gonna be unhappy with me, even if we're on the red. There we go. Okay, so I pressed F, it's not what I wanted to do. So you can see very easily, we can come in here and just edit these numbers. Well, we've removed the min now, but we did have it. And you can um, check light levels where the player's standing. Obviously, you don't have to execute it at the player. You've got choices about where you want to execute it. But I thought we'd just do a quick little one today. Weekend's always busy for me. So 
very handy predicate. Checking light levels. Does a player go in a cave? Do they go somewhere dark? Maybe you want to play scary sounds at them. I don't know. It's up to you. Anyway, have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.